indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I'll call it January 7th. We need to order all three commissioners and county attorney are present. Open the floor for nominations for president of the Board of Commissioners. I'd like to nominate Brian Lewis as president. I'll second. There's no other nominations. We'll close the floor for nominations and ask for a vote for Brian to be president. Okay. I want to entertain a nomination for vice president. Nominate for Brian Stead. I'll second that. All in favor? Motion carries. Okay. Um, we have, uh, you guys look over the uh, all our board nominations. Uh, there's a lot over here. Is there any? I don't think there's any changes. We have two vacant, two vacancies. We have a BZA vacancy. And on the BZA, isn't uh, Seth White? Isn't he on? Not Seth White. Is that Seth uh, Wilson? Isn't he on there? Yes. So I don't know if we need to have a vacancy or not. Because it says Dev Bar, so we appointed. And we appointed Seth there. Got Deb and Barry Ball. Deb and Barry Ball. And then a bacon. No, I have a full BZA for it. Okay. Well, that shows that it's inside of the machine. But Zeph Wilson is on it, correct? Yeah, I thought he was on it. Teresa Ogle, and I think it's Rebecca Hartzler, right? Rebecca's on there. Rebecca. I know that one's off. Isn't that right, Ron? Well, uh, as far as Teresa Hartzler, I had no idea. I know Rebecca, Rebecca was on there, I thought. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, she's, yeah, she I'm not sure about like Teresa. She's with me. Well, I think that's the different one. Something that KK, when we had our 
our meeting that what we had in there um, did not match state law, so whatever was struck out for that particular part was for that reason. And then we talked about the subdivision, and he would like to change that from four lots to ten lots, which is fine. It was kind of just something of a comprehensive plan for the future development anyway. So, um, And I wasn't sure, I was just going to ask Holly if they can do their three readings today um, for these amendments, or do I need to come back? I think they better do one and then do two by title only. Okay. At another meeting, right? Yes. Well, not, is that what you're saying? Right. Do the next one, the next meeting. Okay. Um, did you guys have any other questions regarding the meeting amendments? I don't think we did. No, no, sure. no we're just we talking. About that. <coughs> yeah, the resolution number. Is that the uh um, well, other than Christina? It's just one four twenty four. Yeah. Or one two. Sorry. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's a uh, yeah, zero one zero two. Right. Okay. okay, we have a resolution of the Fulton County Commissioners to adopt amendments to the Fulton County Zone Ordinance, Subdivision Control, and Ordinance uh, on the Zone Map. It's resolution 012024. Uh, I'm going to read that whole thing. <laughs> 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 it's only 37 pages. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Come on, Brian. So I guess that's this, you, you go to two readings that are next Monday's meeting. Okay. That's so, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Um, Josh. I have nothing new with this guy unless you have questions for me. No. Josh. John. Yeah. Hi, Mark. Okay. Basically, it is 
just a financial commitment layer. Say we do a five hundred thousand dollar match. The highlighted yellow there uh, is the project number, which we don't have a project number yet because. Okay, this letter is uh, a kind of letter, like John said, to the uh, uh, King Crossings. Uh, can we do this project? So, you guys okay with that? Yeah, sure. Is there any way to approve that? Uh, <laughs> I'll send you. Oh, okay. 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 <laughs> All in favor? The motion carries through. Basically, it gets us an extra three or thirty-four thousand dollars to come. Yeah. Two hundred or two million dollars worth of total work. Yeah, total, total work. work. Mm -hmm. yeah. Just additional previous years would be. Good. And on the on the paving projects, we're going to go after uh, basically all the township this year. As every year we try to rotate around the county for the pavement, so we'll be back in all the township this year. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and then while we're talking about. Community crossings, and I'm glad you, the new mayor's here today because I want to talk to you about uh, the interlocal agreement between the city and the county uh, for Black and Turk Drive, which is one of the projects on that. Um, mayor, if you want to chime in at any time, more than helpful. What the last conversation I had last week, the number on the county end of it I saw was like 68,000 roughly. Correct. I also, Mike said he was out there last week and they had actually done some more on the cul-de-sac area, so we're trying to get the actual number from, I think, David Heidi, aren't we? Get nailed down on the county end of it. That would be the total cost, and then you divide that by four, and that would be the county match, which, as you know, we're probably going to look at annexing that at some point, and at that point we would repay the county, because I understand you guys wouldn't want to put money into something that's not going to end up being yours. So it's kind of a gentleman's agreement. Uh, we're trying to do the interlocal uh, connection here to be able to get the grant right away so we can get that darn thing finished finally because we're act anxious to get something marketed out there uh, so uh, that's kind of what i know about where we're at but that 68 number is i'm not sure that's a firm number it, it may be a little less than that we're trying to get an actual number back on it. The, the, the reimbursement that the city will do though, it's only, it's only our share of around 17,000. Right, right, yeah. right. So yeah. Sort of like, yeah. Whatever you guys put towards that to get that finished up, uh, my commitment to you is that we'll get it repaid to you if we do indeed annex that into the city. Yeah. And I'm meeting with USI tomorrow to deal with the same, a little bit of the same thing, I think. Or. <coughs> and that to you, then, and let you guys get that signed. Okay. Any questions or concerns, Carl? No. That's good. Yeah. Any questions or concerns? No, I guess I didn't know. Why project done? Okay. Well, I would uh, entertain a motion to enter into this interlocal agreement with the city of Rochester concerning the Blackwater Drive on uh, Fourth Street to the end of uh, the cul de sac to the north. So moved. Second. Any questions from anybody? Okay, out there. That motion carries through. The only other thing I had that I wanted to discuss with you, uh, talk to you individually, Brian, I've been working with you uh, mainly on this, uh, the shop out there at the Highway Garage, uh, the oil burner, uh, it's, I'm going to say 12, 15 years old, it's kind of at the end of its uh, use of life, uh, it's given us fits, it gave us a lot of fits last winter. <coughs> Right, he had quit on us. It was out all weekend. Uh, we've been looking at infrared heaters for that. And I'd like to get the board's permission to pursue purchasing a couple of those from the shop. Uh, 
not quite sure where we'll purchase them at. I don't know if it's cap and purchase. Um, not exactly sure on the price, but they're going to be a couple, two, three thousand dollars a piece. So I'd like to have the board's permission to purchase those. Okay. He, um, have you got a way to pay for them or are you going to ask the council for a way? Or I I'll be able to pay for them out of the shop budget and then okay. we have to appropriate later on the year if we run short going mm -hmm. fall or something. Got to have heat out there. Yes, indeed. That's pretty, pretty efficient heat. Yeah, yeah. For us. yeah. we're <coughs> they will pay for themselves pretty oh, quickly because yeah. right now we're using, uh, you know, we use we use motor oil. Uh, they actually <coughs> went through the last of that uh, last week, and then uh, we start using number two uh, diesel fuel, and that gets real expensive. Well, I, you mentioned too that. <coughs> New trucks and oil changes aren't frequent, so we don't have to use the oil that we did. Right. Burn them up, so yeah. We used to change oil, you know, 3,500 miles, now we're 20,000. Yeah. We just don't, don't use that. Have to use oil like we used to. Uh, you guys okay with them? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Let's get them. Let me know. The price we can help you somewhere or the other. Yeah, just going to shiver and shake it with oil trucks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I hate to spend money on it, but it's something we can repurpose if we ever do put up a new shop. You do. You're right. yeah. That's the only the other thing I have. I don't know if you have any questions for us. John. Thanks, John. Mm -hmm. Thank you, John. Thank you. Kathy. Yeah. Okay. Doug? No, I'm good. Uh, Gil. I really don't have anything. Um, we need to extend the EMA and May 1 meetings because those need to be advertised legally. If we could do that, um, maybe to the third uh, week of this month, it'd be fantastic. I've been a little under the weather. <clears throat> Not for sure if I'm going back down under the weather. <laughs> so um, with that being said, and then ADA meeting is um, supposed to be next Tuesday <coughs> at 8 a.m. Um, I don't know if you want to extend that as well. That's up to you. you make them whatever you need to make them. Yeah. I'm good with whatever. They yeah. let it be for you. <coughs> and then um, I'm not so sure about, the, I've been checking emails if you guys made any kind of um, interaction with Barry Ritter and the current upgrade with the contract. We will talk about that in a little bit. Agenda. You want to do it now? Or? We can do it now. Um, yeah, because I, I guess we had a question last meeting and then uh, we saw it here right in front of us. So, um, yeah, the, the agreement is uh, not to exceed 24000 per year. Does that sound right to you? Correct. Okay. Yeah. So that would run through uh, just from January 2nd, 24, uh, through December 31st, 27. He can help monitor the uh, um, the contract, whoever it is, we end up with supervisor with our ambulance service. So. Yeah, and um, Dr. Mann is retiring. That would be a new medical director as well. Okay. So I'll need new signatures. Um, <coughs> and there's like a nurse um, that <coughs> was willing to do the medical direction as well. So I'll bring that to you in the next couple weeks. Okay, so we have a uh, contract here with Barry Ritter with Ritter Strategic Services. Uh, we're not to exceed uh, 24000 per year. Is there any motion to enter into that contract? Um, I guess the only question I will have on sitting here thinking about it, are we paying that, have we got, are we paying that out of our contract? Or are we going to the council to see how they want to pay for it or what are we doing with that? Because it's going to be an every year expense. Yeah. Well, this year we have enough money in their budget to cover, I think, unless we get into something else. Okay. It's up to you. So, so far now, we'll, we'll pay for it, then we can. after that, we'll. Yeah. <coughs> okay. I, I'm just making sure how we're paying for it. We got some money. Okay. All right. I'll make a motion to approve. I'll second. Okay. Any questions from anybody? Favorite motion for your school. Uh, anything else, Kate? Um, Thank you. Get to feel it better.
Okay. <coughs> you, uh, Travis, sure. Got no updates unless you guys have any questions. Thank you, Travis. I believe so. Have a good turn off. Yes, thank Where you guys for attending. Everybody that attended that was a good turnout. Yeah, this summer. Yep. 29 years. Right? 29 years of experience out the door. Yep. Yeah. Good guys. So, okay. They're missing department heads. Okay. Uh, we've got a. Uh, Updates from the public. Do you want to update us? I just haven't been in in a while, and I thought I'd give you um, the review for 2023 and the reminder that we couldn't have done this without your support. Like, it, it was a real turning point, and I hope you guys know that. It was a game changer. But we were open for 10 months. We had 8,963 people visit the theater, which blows me away. Uh, 99 events, 84 public, 15 private, uh, 550 pounds of popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> Indiana <laughs> grown. Um, we're working with local farmers to get it even better than that, Fulton County grown. Uh, set off the fire alarm three times. Twice popcorn, once fog machine. Um, we had three events with over 300 people. Uh, grand opening, of course, Southern Accents, which was a Tom Petty tribute, and Brett Evans. Uh, top performing movies, any one of the Christmas movies, we had quote, over 250, other than Christmas Story. Uh, Jesus Re Revolution was over 200, Hocus Pocus and Goonies. Uh, we learned we won't ever play a movie during spring break or summer mornings again. Uh, monthly programs that we established. Senior movies, the monthly <coughs> faith-based movies on Sunday. Uh, Manitow Training Center in Friends. They come once a month and have a blast. And a free family matinee once a month. That's great. Uh, we have for January and February alone, almost $5,000 in ticket sales already. And that is for, uh, we're really putting our foot on the gas for live music once a month. That really pays off. But the Bluegrass Festival, High Rider, and Haywood Banks. Now, that five, that it's forty-seven fifty. That does not include any ticket sales for the 100th anniversary, which will be going on sale this week. So, I think it's just great news. I can't imagine 8,900 people on our main street didn't make a huge difference. And I, I talked to Ruth and Bryce Romine a lot, and they're just thrilled. And we're meeting actually this week to expand on that. Mm -hmm. Well, we appreciate everything you've done for that. Because it's, uh, it takes a lot, of, a lot of time. This is my first week to get paid, by the way. <laughs> okay, and I want to say that too. At six volunteers on the operating committee, like there's many, many behind getting this open. But since we've been open, I like, totally abused six volunteers, and they come back every week and they're amazing. That's good. Um, Rick Abbott just joined the board effective yesterday. Terry um, Lee's no longer on. Um, he was on it from day one. We appreciate everything he did, but we've got a good team. Deb Paxton from the hospital is joining to help me with some emails and marketing. You know, we have a list of things we need to do better, which I love. Okay. Opportunity. Yeah. But it, we, have, um, we have needs for every budget in 2024, so if anyone hears the grant, uh, you know, just sponsorships, anything. I've got $300 needs and we're still working on lighting, which is our most expensive and that hits 30,000. Mm. But we'll get there. But thank you, thank you. Hopefully there's a program we can all collaborate with again. Mm -hmm. And you know where to find me. Sure. <laughs> I think it's been great for the downtown. Oh, it's, uh, we love it. If you yeah. just Go by the only complaint I hear is there's not enough parking. Oh, dear. <laughs> I guess oh, that's a good dear. complaint. I mean, yeah. And like Ruth called once, What in the world are you doing on Sundays? Because, <laughs> like, she can tell by 
you know, why there's so many people at lunch, or, you know, it's that's, one, that's the ripple effect that's we right. talked about. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Haywood Banks is selling like mad. It's good. So we're attracting regional, which is nice. We're getting phone calls now. Sorry. Yeah. That's awesome. <coughs> Any questions? Steve had one. There's a comment. Anybody that hasn't been in there, you need to check it out. They've really got it nice. It's really neat. No, and Jim Scott, I think, is painting his best mural yet right now. And then it's a tribute to farmers. So That's cool. it's, we love it. Thanks again. Uh -huh. yeah. Okay. Um, Jessica. Mm -hmm. channels of extension, we reached over 5,000 people um, through programs, so over 30,000 years of education, over 250 programs um, throughout the county. We also see people um, individually, so whether that's in person, talking to them on the phone, through emails, we're here to answer questions and provide them connections to university resources. Um, so we actually helped 400 plus people um, individually last year. Um, so that's a really special number to me for sure um, through our work. Um, we also continue to write articles and that number is reflected on the front page, but what I'd like to spend more time on is just um, highlights of the different program areas. So as you flip through that, you're gonna see lots and lots of words. I'm gonna do my best to give you the short condensed version today. Um, so Health and Human Sciences is that first page, that's what I do. Um, the program that I highlighted was something that I did for um, the newish MOPS program, Mom of Preschoolers. Um, I was able to talk to about 30 moms last year about kids' nutrition, um, how to do it well, what to talk about food, what to put together. Um, meal times with young kids can be a little bit intimidating and a little bit challenging. Um, so that was a really great program and a need that was recognized by those program leaders. That same program I've been able to use to child care facilities in our county. So going into those facilities, they have to maintain certain continuing education credits um, year to year, and that's been something that I've been able to help with, and um, focus on nutrition is just one aspect that I can do that. So that was HHS. Um, for h youth development, we highlighted our junior leaders program. That is a 4-H club that really focuses on service, um, service learning. Um, it's an older group of kids starting at sixth grade through 12th grade. They come together about once a month, um, sometimes more often, depending on the time of year, to do a lot of community service projects. They're really helpful around fair time, um, and it's just definitely a hands-on hands -on group of kids. We, uh, at the start of COVID, were not able to send our 4 teachers to big 4-H camps. Junior leaders took it upon themselves to offer day camps for the younger 4 teachers and the mini 4 teachers. So that's been really fun to see them um, interact with the younger age kids. At the bottom of that page, you see uh, the 2023 4-H statistics. So we had 277 4-H members, 87 mini 4-H members, which is super exciting because that 87 is gonna roll into that 200 number. So we're, we're seeing an uptick in those minis, and we hope to, to continue to see growth in our 4-H program. Lots of exhibits, building, and animals are included in that 1,718 number. 
In addition to the youth aspect of this job, um, Crystal here gets to also oversee about 150 adult volunteers, making sure that they're acting as they should from those adult uh, behavior expectations and things like that. So um, it's, a, it's a big role, multifaceted role, and um, we love to see those foragers come summertime. The next page is Ag and Natural Resources. Highlight a couple different things on this page. Um, every year we offer a winter farm school. Uh, topics vary, it depends on the hot topics for agriculture, what the needs are in our community. Um, but one of the sessions always uh, works towards somebody's park credits or their pesticide application license. So we really try to meet the need of those uh, folks that need that update as well. The bottom one is something called Livestock Quality of Care. And this is a really cool example of how our program areas work together because this is actually a 4 H thing that A and R have a huge part in developing. So every year, 4 Hers have to complete a course to make sure that they are doing what they are supposed to be doing with their animals, doing proper care and things like that. This program was developed for 4 Hers as a more accessible <coughs> program and something that if you're only showing county fairs, um, you can do this versus some of the bigger national programs. Um, so really meeting the needs, again, of our local 4-Hers who may not show um, outside of the county. The Nutrition Education Program is kind of the, the other arm um, of extension, and that's something that there's a whole other set of people um, working in that arm, so to say. So I highlighted a couple of their programs, too. This is uh, special because they, they only do nutrition and physical activity with lower income individuals. So they have a very targeted audience. Um, our school systems in our counties are all 50% or more free and reduced lunch. So we are able to go in and do education programs with all of our schools because of that qualification. Um, those folks can go in and do, do that programming for them. So that's the CASH program that you see on the right is one of them that they do in the schools, and we are in Akron, Caston, and Rochester Elementary with that program. So it's a six session deal. Um, the Nutrition Education Program Advisor is, is the long term. Uh, we call them ZIPAs for short. Um, they go in and, and have those relationships with the kids and the teachers and deliver those programs for them. Um, the Nutrition Education Program, uh, NEPA, was also involved in this first round of the JCAP program. It was really well received and they, they want her back um, to, to help with the next round as well. So nutrition and food prep is definitely identified as, a, as an important life skill. So um, there was mutual benefits to that. And then on the last page, we highlight a little bit of our community development. And um, I know I've talked about the leadership program before. It's been around for a lot, a lot of years. One of the really awesome projects that came out of this past Leadership Academy was the Story Walks. And we now have three out of four planned Story Walks placed around the county. The first one was at the Woodlawn Trail, um, kind of specialized in the island part of the trail. And it's, it's for young readers, but we're, we're really targeting family activity. So getting people outside, reading, physical activity, literacy, all that good stuff. Um, so Woodlawn was the first. We also have one out at Kiwana um, in their Union Township Park. There's one in Lighter Sword, and then we have plans to place one in Talma, and that's going to be part of a much bigger project there at the community center where we can get grant dollars for um, a path and things like that, walking trail. So um, stay tuned for 2024 project for that. But um, Leadership Academy brings a lot of amazing people together. It's really, really fun to see um, the small groups that break out and the projects that come from that. So. Great right. questions. I talk a lot really fast. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I think everything you're doing is, is great. Right. Down there, uh, a lot of college and community, you're, you're, you're doing well, so it's, it's nice to hear that. Yes. I'd like to see the way you're increasing the programming as well as you know, touching more. So yeah. it's doing good. Okay. So I always look through a contract and send contractors. Do you know it's more? I wonder did, did the council budget? Did, did they give you a budget? Is that the budget they give you? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, so we okay. get that dollar amount and we get it approved in the in the okay. county budget. I think you did. Yeah. Okay. All right. So we have about one hundred twenty-three thousand seven hundred eighty-five dollars. I'll make a motion to approve. A second. Any questions for me? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
all in favor? Motion carries three out. Thank you. Thanks. Okay, did I miss anybody? Public updates. Uh, Michael. Real simple. Um, the state's coming in on the 11th for ready to the state committee. Uh, we'll tour the sites for the industrial park and go out to school for uh, Jen Advance's uh, child care program. Those are the two projects that we have at the moment. I fully intend to <coughs> expect rather that we will retain both of those. Um, we're technically project wise the region is uh, allotted 75 million dollars we're asking for 80 million anticipating that some other committees or some other regions are not going to get their full funding which we didn't actually get in ready one uh, i found out so um it goes up that extra five million will go into other counties not into us right now um so there's a practice session because uh, we do an actual full-blown presentation. Uh, I'll be doing that uh, tomorrow afternoon down in Kokomo. Uh, and then uh, the mayor and, and uh, Ryan are <coughs> driving down to a luncheon. Uh, they want to keep it low, the attendance low, but manageable. It's sort of uh, showing the colors and showing that the city and the county are interested in these projects. They'll be part of it is what it is. We'll be coming at you for letters of intent at some point soon. So uh, that's where we are on ready right now. And then the other thing is Friday, just before I left, um, I received a $270,000 check from RMC toward Blackers paving. And I have been out there. Um, the entire cul-de-sac has at least got one layer of asphalt on it. Um, it's at different heights, different layers right now, the way that uh, apparently that they pay whatnot. But the entire front portion of the parking lot where the uh, buildings are, those are paved and the whole cul-de-sac is paved now. It stops right there at the property line, the county line. Um, so uh, that's where we're sitting on that one too right now. And I'm waiting on David to give us real figures. And I, he, he was out over the week holiday season, so I expect, him, I expect some kind of an answer today. Now, the 270, the first one, remember, that's a... Uh, that that's was, a, my understanding is that was a loan to FEDCO at some point yeah. uh, toward the paving. And we, I was asked to invoice REMC a couple weeks ago because uh, it's messing up their books. And so now it can come mess up my books. And yeah, um, but that's as I understand. But I do know it's toward paving out there. That was my recollection. That yeah, they had that loan that they could get. It's not. I apparently it's a couple of years old, and uh, I have to, every time I open a cabinet over there right now, I find a stack of papers called Blackader, and they are all going into one box, and I'll figure it all out at some point. I didn't find the original 1999 contract, though. <laughs> I think I've got the whole history now. I hope. Good deal. Anything else you Okay. Thank you. One last thing. Um, I forgot because there has done there has been a lot more work done out there than just the paving. That whole dip, that one ditch that where they're going to put the uh, the lines. They've got that all cleaned out at this point too. So I mean, somebody's been out there working. Get that thing done. It would be nice. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Anybody else? Sure. Mayor? Sure. I just want to again uh, look forward to working with the county and the commissioners uh, going forward. Um, we're going to be very aggressive in economic development, which is going to require collaboration between city and county and a lot of those areas. Uh, a lot of different ways of achieving economic prosperity for a community. So we're going to be thinking outside the box, looking at every avenue we can to make this community grow from an economic uh, prosperity <laughs> standpoint. And, uh, a lot, like I said, a lot of different ways of getting there. Um, but uh, looking forward to any expertise the county uh, has to offer and help us get to that point. So uh, look forward to a great relationship. Thank you.
Well, thank you. So I'm really looking forward to working with you all as well and see what we can do as a community. Great, thanks. So. Okay, anybody else? Okay. Uh, you guys have a chance to look over the financials? Uh, any questions, concerns? No. Okay, we have claims, uh, $894.29 for utilities. Ditch transfers of $29,940.31. Um, striker uh, cop claim uh, we discussed. $7,477.59. Yeah, tourism, uh, $625. Miscellaneous claims for January 2nd, uh, $1,282,391.82. The transfer request uh, from the prosecutor's office, $2,500 from the law enforcement and equipment to furniture and equipment. Thank you. Anything new, Holly? Yeah. Christine? Public? Here you go. Here's a motion to recess. Submit. Second. All in favor? 